I was at that Changi airport in Singapore for eight hours and here's what you can expect. Hey, it's Jess, the fun size foodie, and I've eaten and explored in over 12 countries and 30 plus major cities. I just finished a trip to Vietnam and Thailand and I can't wait to show you everything, especially the food. But for this video, we're focusing on Singapore's Changi Airport. You'll also get to see what it's like in one of their exclusive lounge and I'll share tips and recommendations so that you don't waste time like I did. Let's get started. Uh, so human, landed here in Changi Airport in Singapore. We have a five hour layover at this airport. So we're just gonna walk around and like explore everything. Because we landed at five in the morning in Singapore, the shops were just opening. And some shops wouldn't open until about 10 or 11 in the morning. So we headed over to O Chain Key. They're a food chain known for their special curry puffs. The puffs were so crispy and had so much filling in them. Perfect snack for the morning. And walking around this airport, it felt like a luxurious mall. This is real. And the airport's so big that they needed a moving sidewalk. And all throughout the airport, there were so many different types of gardens. We're at the Cactus Garden at Chang'e Airport. It's humid. Yeah, I don't miss the humidity at all. Despite the humidity, it was pretty cool to see different types of gardens, especially at an airport. We saw about three to four different gardens and plants are everywhere. I'm here at the Water Lily Garden. I realized there's a smoking area at each garden because I think it balances out the carbon dioxide that we're creating. And then we were on our way to head to the Jewel. It's a giant indoor waterfall at the airport. The last time I was in Singapore was 2017 and the Jewel was built in 2019. So this was my chance to finally go check it out. Unfortunately, it was just not on when we went. To see the Jewel without having to go through immigration, you can take one of the sky trains from one terminal to the next to see it on your ride there. And then we head our way to the Strats Food Village for some Singaporean breakfast food. I got the Kaya Toast set because we're in Singapore. Kaya Toast is a coconut jam that's spread over some toast and it's a classic Singaporean breakfast for the morning. The set I order also comes with some soft boiled eggs and some coffee. If you're in Singapore and you want to experience what locals eat, Order yourself a Kaya Toast because this is so good. This whole set was 6 USD. I got the Kaya Toast set. Comes with coffee, Kaya Toast, and soft boiled eggs. Oh my gosh, the coffee here tasted like Copico candy. Kaya Toast with butter. Mm. It's like rich, sweet, and salty. Perfect for the morning. Of course, we have to check out the McDonald's in Singapore. We bought anything that was different from the US. Prosperity fries, Singapore McDonald's. Tastes like Jack in the Box fries. And here we have the McCrispy. What is this? McCrispy. Yeah. Honey soy McCrispy. Oh, hot. Oh, no? <laughs> yeah, this was really hot. After one bite, it was so much better than I thought it'd be. It's more moist than like fried chickens that I'm used to. And like, I think it's crispy like without the batter crispy. We were on the way to the lounge, but then we saw this and we had to check it out. Gigantic, tall plant, and then there's a pond with a transparent platform that you can step on. So it looks like you're standing on water. After that mini detour, here's the Ambassador Transit Lounge. Filled with so many wide, comfortable chairs, and each chair had a charging outlet to the side. Then there was the fully decked out dining area. They offered full-on meals, snacks, desserts, so many different types of drinks, you name it. They had breads and croissants here. And then you got the full-on hot meals chocolate eclairs. They also offer things that were vegetarian and gluten-free. I had to get me some of this chicken korma. 
it was like a chicken curry that was rich and creamy and then i got some of this teriyaki chicken wings it looked so good and so glossy it was like sweet and salty and the chicken was so moist ate so much that I was so full and I didn't get to try out these steamed buns but they look so amazing made some kanji here at the lounge mm. they also offer different flavored ice creams strawberry ice cream So good when it's free. What's really cool is that they'll send a robot around to wherever you're sitting to collect your trash. So you can just sit and chill and enjoy your food. Oh, wait, wait, right here. And my favorite thing after an 18 long hour flight was the ability to take a shower. I felt so gross, but after my shower, I was refreshed. I am at the Ambassador Transit Lounge. And I finally get a chance to chill. My flight was 17 hours and 40 minutes all the way from LAX to Singapore. And then after that, we did not chill. We just explored the Changi Airport and it's freaking huge. Instead of taking the SkyTrain, we walked around all the way from Terminal 1 to 3 to 2. And it's huge i do not recommend walking we thought walking would be a good idea because we get to see everything and explore everything but you can still explore each and every terminal even by just taking the sky train and that's a lot faster so i highly recommend taking that overall here are the tips that i recommend based on my experience at Changi airport tip number one is to utilize the sky trains the airport is so big that walking was just too much and you'll be able to see everything even taking the sky trains. Tip number two is if you want to check out the airport, I recommend you extend your layover to a few hours. I think a total about three to four hours is just enough. But if you also want to check out the jewel, you're going to have to go through immigration. So I would add a couple more hours to your layover for that. This is all up to you and how much time you want to spend at the airport during your layover. For me, I liked enough cushion room in case something happens because you never know. I really worry about missing my flight. So that's why I like to leave a lot of cushion room. Tip number three is to have your layover more towards the afternoon because a lot of cafes and shops aren't open super early in the morning. And last tip is to have some Singaporean dollars if you know you're going to be spending some money either at the airport or outside of the airport. Another thing you can do if you don't want to exchange currencies because of those fees is to get yourself a credit card with zero international transaction fees. If you found this video helpful, you also might like this video.